Welcome to Cars All the Time Car Search Engine, and I am your host, G. And I am KK, your co-host. And uh, we've got some car news for you today. What car news do we have today? Uh, Yanko Camaro. Yes, we have different years of the Yanko, but when they started out, it was like 1967, the Yanko. Okay. Uh, Yanko Chevrolet dealership was in Chicago during the 60s and all, and this is where uh, Mr. Yanko himself ordered. Uh, so let me, let me tell you what's going on. Uh, they were original first generation Camaros. Uh, and so when the Camaro debuted, a corporate edit, the corporate company prevented it from carrying an engine larger than 400 cubic inches. So this put the Camaro at serious disadvantage of the Fords and Plymouths and Dodges, had, which they had such a limit. Admittedly, Ford only had a 390 Mustang in 1967, with Carroll Shelby producing the 428 police interceptor equipped Shelby GT500. Don Yanko, however, knew there was a market for an ultra-powerful Camaro and found ways around the GM limit. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, the 1967 Yanko ordered L78 equipped SS Camaros swapped in the cars, sw swapped in the L72 427, mm -hmm. which was a seven liter engine. These cars came with a 410 rear end, heavy duty suspension. Wow. Yeah, when they're hitting, they're hitting the gears hard and all, it's like they don't want to tear it. Yeah, right. that's right, that's right. <laughs> now, how many cars did uh, Yanko make? Well, the exact number of cars produced is 104. Yanko also installed fire gla fire glass. Fiberglass. Fiberglass. Fi I'm sorry, fiberglass replacement hood similar to the Stinger hood featuring f featured on 1967 big block Corvettes. That's right. And uh, so they went on, put all the, uh, the they, they ripped out all the engines in the cars, you know, that, that came with the Camaros and put in the 427s. Uh, and it, with the name 22, M21 or M22 transmission. The horsepower was rated at 450 horsepower. Yanko Camaros were not allowed to race for Chevrolet on the drag strip because they were not made by Chevrolet. Wow. Yeah. Chevy's answer to this was Copo Camaro. Copo means Central Office Production Order in 1969. The Copo Camaros were equipped equipped with the same 427 engine and were allowed to race for Chevy. There we go. Wow. Now, 1968, uh, Yanko Camaros come out again. It's called the Yanko Super Camaros. Uh, show, them, show them the Camaro there. The Yanko Camaro. Now, as you see the Camaro here, uh, life was a 396 engine, 375 horse engine, close ratio, four speed Muncie transmission. Okay. And, okay, they were built as a super sport cars, but only the Yanko ordered cars came with the 97, 37 Copo appointments, whatever the heck that means. <laughs> they uh, included a 140 miles per hour Delco mm -hmm. speedometer, a special magic mirror trim tag, and large one and one eighth inch front sway bar, anti sway bar. Yanko swapped out the factory theme 396 inch short block for the L72 427 cubic engine with 450 horsepower. Uh, short block reusing all the rest of the 396 engine's components, including the heads, carburetor, intake, manifold, etc. He swapped the stock hood for a twin snorkel fiberglass, one he had made along with other features including the Pontiac's 14 inches by 6 inches steel wheels 
with special Yanko caps. Yanko emblems gracing the front grille, front fenders, and tail panel, and 427 emblems were added to the tail panel and front fenders as well. How many how many cars did they make? 64. Ooh, wow. They made less amount. 104 in 1967, 64 in 1968. Wow. Now, 1969, the dealership worked with Chevrolet to have the L72 engines installed on the factory semi-line using the Central Office Production Order, or COPO. The orders were included power, a 410 positive check rear end with heat, heat treated axle shafts to avoid breakage, a Z28 front anti-sway bar and heavy duty four core radiator. Buyers of the car had the option of either M21 four speed or their turbo hydromatic 400. Well, I did not know they had an automatic at that time. Oh, Usually really? I thought they were all stick shifts, then they had an automatic. Automatic, I prefer automatic. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. In the year 2010, the new Yanko Camaro based on the 2010 Camaro platform was introduced at SEMA in 2009. The new engine is a supercharged version of GM's LS3 and the 6.2 liter V8 that comes standard with the Camaro SS. Since it is only the phase one Yanko, it is expected that the phase two and phase three Yankos are coming, which will have the Z06 sourced LS7 427 engine and possibly even an L89. Well, that's it for the Yanko Camaros. Now you get a little history lesson about the car. Yeah. And uh, we won't even charge you. <laughs> this is our show for right now. And I'm G, your host. And I am Kelly. I'm KK, your co-host. Yes. And we're out of here. <laughs> Ciao. See ya.